Hey, what's going on guys? This is Knasty3890 here with another Madden Ultimate Team 16 video. Uh, today is the trade day results. The card's been up for about 25 hours. Um, and I've, throughout the last day or so, I have been cleaning out, so basically if anyone offered like a bronze card or anything, I have been cleaning them out. Um, so all these cards that were offered were elites. So now I haven't checked in the last couple hours, so I'm, I don't really don't know what exactly there is. I did quickly just look up the price for all the cards I got offered. So you can see there's a Joe Thomas, the Bulaga, the DRC, and the Deshaun Jackson. I looked up all their values here. So when I'll be comparing the cards, it's based off what their lowest price is on the auction house right now. So first we're gonna look at is this Joe Thomas and we have an Orlando Pace legend. Now I have used Pace before <clears throat> and it's kind of hard to, I mean, to know if a left tackle is better than another. I've used Pace, I've used um, Walter Jones, and I've used Joe Thomas. Um, I guess we can compare the two. I just don't think the value is going to be there, and obviously you can't. I hate it when they do that sometimes. I mean, I know Joe Thomas is a better all-around player, I believe. I can go check Orlando Pace's value real quick. Like I said in the last video, I'm looking for cards. If it's within 20,000 cards of what um, the card I have up for then I'll consider it. And I looked up Joe Thomas' price a second ago, and it was um, 135000 So this is like around 115000 120 I'll consider it. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I've used him before, and I, I mean, <clears throat> trying a new offensive tackle isn't really... Yeah, he just doesn't go for enough. Um, I mean, lowest price is 80 just to say 80 I mean, that's a big... That's a large gap. So I'm going to have to, unfortunately, recheck that offer. It's not a bad offer. I mean... They're close. They're close in overalls. They're really relatively close, but I mean, just the the Joe Thomas just carries too much value for me to accept that offer. So I'm going to have to unfortunately reject that. So now we're going to move on to the Brian Bulaga. There are four offers for this right tackle, and he actually goes for a lot because the right tackles are hard to find. Um, it goes for 160,000 coins. Um, there's my phone going off. Uh, so we have Jay Cutler, which I just the Jason Taylor, which I'll look. The Jay Cutler, I just don't want. Um. I guess before in the last video, I'm just looking for, I mean, I have the 90 Brady. Uh, I know the cut long doesn't go for enough. And I'm actually happy with the Yonder right now. And I'm going to be getting that all-rookie Marpet. Ryan Khalil, I know only goes for like 90 because I just sold him last week. So unfortunately, I'm going to reject that. The value is just not there. I don't know what Jason Taylor goes for. I actually don't know. He's probably not going for too, too much. Just for the fact that there's the ultimate legend out, so if someone really wants a Jason Taylor, they will just go and get the ultimate legend if they have the coins. So let's go check his price real quick. I'm gonna say it's around 100k. That should be enough. Let's do all players. Now we get these collectible. Actually, still so gonna have those collectibles. Um. The strong save to 155k. Uh, the left end 100k. I was pretty damn close. Mm. Well, the next one is 150, which puts it right at the Bula guys. So you know what I'm gonna do real quick, guys? I am actually going to pull up Mutthead on my computer, just for the fact that I don't know what he. I mean, there's there's only two up, and they're quite different in price. So if Mutthead tell me he's going for like 140, I might just buy the 100k one. And then just flip it. So let's just check real quick the 94 Jason Taylor. I think he's probably close to that 100K if I had to guess. Um, oh, my head's saying for PS4 it's 82,000. So the value is just not there for the blogger. That's relatively half his value. So I'm going to have to reject that one as well, unfortunately. Um, I mean, it's a higher overall. I mean, we can compare him real quick to base JJ Watt, who I'm using right now. I mean, like I said, I love Block Shed out of my ends. Now, he's got plus 7 speed as Jason Taylor does. His finesse is a 98 compared to Watt's 97. And then Jason Taylor's an 81 power compared to Watt's 67. So when you change those, like if you just combine power and finesse, Jason Taylor hasn't beat by a solid, I think it's 14. But Block Shed's minus 10. And Block Shed's great for stopping the run. Play Rec, is plus 4, which is nice because they'll, like, they'll read out a screen. They'll know right away if like a play action, like if like they won't bite on a play action if they have a higher play rack, stuff like that. Um, it's not a bad card, it's just the value isn't there. The reason why I always do these trades for the same value relatively, and I gotta say 20k, I mean I, I'll give you guys like 20k or so. But the reason why I always want a similar value is if I don't like the card, I can then at least sell it and get my coins back. Got Kyle Long again. No DRC 
<clears throat> goes for 125k. Tony Romo goes for like 20, and I like I said before, I don't need a Korak. I think Kyle Long is like 100, maybe 90. And Jason Taylor is 60. Actually, just looked at him, so he just doesn't have the value. I heard that card's a beast, though. I might have to pick him up just to try him out, like, especially when I'm doing the March Gauntlet whenever they drop that. Like, I always like to try, like, out-of-position cards when I'm doing those solos just to fuck around. Um, but let's go check Kyle Long. I think maybe he's gone down in price with the new, the all-rookie and the final edition, Brandon Brooks, because there haven't been many good right guards. But I think that, yeah, Kyle Long's now at 70-ish. Six, oh, 60. There's, that's... That's, yeah, that's 60. Um, so I'm going to have to unfortunately reject that. Just The value is just not there on these trade offers, unfortunately. Like, I'm looking to make a deal, but I mean, I can't take like a half the value hit, you know what I mean, guys? Um, so let me go reject that offer. And if you guys are enjoying like, the trade days or you want to be involved in the next one, hit a like on the video. If I see a lot of likes on the video, I know you guys want to do more in the future, and I'll put up 10 new cards next time. Um, unless people request that I put up like the, the uh, Luke Keekley again or the Lawrence Taylor again. Um, so we've got three on this flashback to Sean. He goes for 67000 and we got Amari Cooper. <clears throat> I don't know what he goes for. He's probably like twenty k. I have one already. I do not need him. We have a Charles Johnson combo at 89 and a. I don't think that Hunter goes for a lot, but we'll go check real quick. Daniel Hunter and Charles Johnson at 89 I mean, if they're on 50 k, I'll consider it and put Zadara Smith at left end. So let's go look at Charles Johnson. <clears throat> Whittle that down. Let's just go to Combine. I don't think he's going to be that much, unfortunately. I bet he's going to be like around 20k. I am getting these right on the uh, right on the nose. I, I it's kind of lucky. But I um, mean, the other card was a Hunter and all rookie Hunter. Um, I could probably just search. I'll just do the name. Cause I have to cancel this one out anyway. Just go like HU. That should be good enough. Yeah, he's about 20k as well. See, the value just unfortunately is not there. Um, I think that's going to... Oh, no, there's the two offers. I was like, oh, do we get another one? I think that's going to be it. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, uh, the value just wasn't there on these. Um, so like I said, like the video if you want to do another one. Hopefully, we get some better offers next time. Like, I'm glad these are like elite players. <clears throat> unfortunately, if I just didn't like the card, I would be kind of stuck with them with the la with loss of value. I can't really do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll be doing another video out tomorrow. It should be out in regards to positionals about some new cards to look at based off what we've had so far. So make sure you guys check out for that video tomorrow. And if, if uh, you guys want any other cards that I have or you're interested in wanting to do a trade day with like a value of a card. Like if you only have like cards that you only go for like 15 to 20 K, I'll put more cheaper cards up. If you have cards that go for three, 400, I'll put more of those cards up. So just let me know guys and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like this. As always guys, take it easy. Have a great one and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.